This is non calculator question number 13 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board gives us a linear equation for the cost per square foot of a condominium t years after 2001 and asks us to interpret the 50.25. That's this coefficient. In y equals mx plus b form, this is m, the slope. So they're asking for the slope. And the slope is the change in the value of your function for each unit change in the value of your independent variable. So when t goes up by 1, the cost goes up by 50.25, where t is the year. So when years increases by 1, cost increases by 50.25 per square foot. And that sounds like cost per square foot in dollars for each additional year after 2001. The correct answer is D. Looking at the other answer of choices, Average cost per square foot in dollars in 2001. 2001 is zero years after 2001. If you put in t equals zero, you get the cost is 228.75, not 50.25. So A is wrong. Choice B, average cost per square foot in dollars in 2009. That would be larger than 228 by eight times the 50.25. So that's wrong. And choice C sounds like a slope, but they've swapped the variables. It's the increase in years for each dollar increase in the average cost per square foot. And that probably doesn't make sense to those who are familiar with costs. You would not expect it to take 50 years for the cost per square foot of a condo to go up by one dollar. So choice C is not reasonable in terms of the real world in addition to not matching the actual equation. College Board often essentially always tests you on interpreting the slope or the intercept or both of a linear equation. In this case, they're asking for the slope. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.